Hey folks, I'm the Mysterious JG. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Um, staring at a wall, as Shepard is wont to do. But uh, having just completed a fairly significant mission uh, where we actually fought collectors for a change, it's now time to chat with uh, all of our crew members and find out what's up, including Warden Souls. Shepard, how can I help? He may have nothing for us, actually. Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. So he'd rather blow up their eyes than, uh... Talk to Joker and find out what he thinks about Jack. He's, uh... Thinks Garrus has a stick up his ass, so he's beating people to death with it. Ha ha ha. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? She's not a prostitute. Watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... You won't understand unless you meet her. Yeah, well, I met her. I don't get it either. Hey, Commander. Slow spin. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Ash, Operations Chief Williams, wasn't it? Didn't go well. We talked, but things have changed. We let it go. Oh, good, because I was not looking forward to your mood if that went bad. There's a reason I don't date crew commander. Uh, how about you fuck off? Um, never mind. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones we now, with last... It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's Goodbye. it for now. See you, Commander. And Edie, who we can safely ignore. I know you don't like forcing these talks, but... Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. <laughs> duty. Always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's what a can personal I do with your duties? I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Dot, dot, dot. Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Ping! Family. Saren? Oh, wait, you're probably not related to Saren. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last sending week, out an a crash SOS. and requesting a rescue. Sending out Shepard, that ship SOS. went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal to He isn't that over. old. I mean, it's been too long. The guy hasn't talked to his father in 13 years, and considering how old he is. And Probably must have been a teenager when they broke off the whole relationship. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He I get as excited about as often as you do, Shepard. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Interesting. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. <laughs> and whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? Bottom line. There's no explanation for why I know about this, Shepard, and we're not going to come up with one. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it, even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am, and as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. 
probably got a bunch of malfunctioning evil mechs on board. That's pretty typical of these frigates. As fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. And uh, you'll get uh, the choice of using my power on future playthroughs, and uh, I'll get an alternate outfit, so it'll, it'll work out well for everyone, Shepard. <laughs> You're so long, Rex. I miss Rex. Grunt's fine, don't get me wrong. He's not Rex, though. Private message? Hmm? No? Commander, you've received a new message at your uh, private terminal. I knew if I stared at you long enough. Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. A private matter with you sensitively. So, nobody follow me, okay? <laughs> All armor is vulnerable to fire attacks, slow firing weapons, and warp. Thought you'd want to know. It's Buddy Hackett. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Dr. Amanda Kenson. Oh, this is Dr. DLC. I don't remember this at all. Of an imminent Reaper invasion. Okay. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. You mean I don't get to bring crew members with me? There's a one of the DLCs in um, three is like that. You like literally have to go in by yourself, and and you are given temporary uh, squad mates as part of that mission. I have a hell of a squad. I'm sure they'd help out. Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion. Seriously, dude, that is a weak ass reason. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. They might kill her, even if there's only one guy and not three. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, so I'm, now I feel bad because you talk to this guy a lot in the next game, and uh, I didn't realize that we had the chance to do him this personal favor. Of course, he doesn't refer to it when I play the third game because I didn't do it. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing up there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She's a snappy dresser and a good friend. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found her. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Seacrest out. Nothing is impossible, says the says the hegemony propaganda poster that depicts a Moscow libertarian miner under an air taut sky as rebreather held away from his face as if he's just taken it off. The image sums up millions of man hours of labor on the Batarian planet and represents or misrepresents much of its history. Two decades ago, Eratot 
like several planets in the Cilian Verge, was claimed by both human and Vitarian governments, but the Alliance backed out to learning about the atmosphere's dangers, low pressure, and oxygen levels. Instead, they concentrated their colonial efforts on planets to support human life without the aid of dom domed helmets or rebreathers. Human governments saw as a wide move, Batarians saw it as cowardly. The Batarians rose to the colonization challenge, shaving on large numbers of laborers. They took the high financial costs and casualty due to accidents or logistical snafus in stride. Large scale dumping of cyanobacteria cyanobacteria has increased the oxygen in the atmosphere by a fraction of 1%, a modest increase that the hegemony triumph trumpets as a sign of their eventual victory. Short term profits on Aerotot are largely made in the mineral sector through mining the extremely rich, metal-rich planetary crust. The dark side of the mining does not appear on the propaganda posters. The majority of laborers are indentured servants or slaves. The dark side of Hulkamania. Aerotot is rumored to have military bases on its surface and throughout its solar system, though details are heavily restricted by the Hegemony's Ministry of Information Control. Human merchant ships rarely come to the planet, outcompeted by local companies that benefit from heavy economic protections. The average Aerotot citizen only sees humans on the news, usually features in stories of trials and executions of accused spies. So, it's not a place where we can expect a warm reception. But because I lied and told them that I was going to make it a priority. Uh, oh. Little picture of Ashley, but she's so mean to us now. I don't think we're sufficiently racist against aliens. I'm gonna find out what kind of personal favor Miranda wants from us before we start recruiting new peeps. Marshmallow peeps. That's nothing new to tell People us. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I hear that. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. You've already been through this. The Normandy runs so quietly, and I keep on hearing my footsteps. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, listen to my footsteps as I get out of here because I'm bored. For some reason, I'm so much harder on her and her lack of any real dialogue than I am on Zaid. <laughs> Oh, I was making fun of him a bit last time. Great killers and psychopaths. That was more band, Shepard. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. Slap. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. So, get on with it. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? A dynasty. There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. My butt. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. So there's two she's of you. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. Do you do everything together, like the twins that are hanging around with uh, Jacques Gerard and uh, Talia at night? I mean, you know. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. <laughs> Seriously, game? And what what's wrong with her ass cheeks anyway? It appears that her left ass cheek is significantly larger than her right ass cheek. Or that it slopes down farther and her right ass cheek sticks out further. I mean, but it's like, come on game come on are you gonna maintain the pretense that this is like a serious literate piece of sci-fi here or is this just an ass show i mean rumble roses would be you know second guessing this as a just a place for the the screen to pause for a moment what do you know about your sister she's, uh, she's saren we're identical but she deserves a I mean, normal life, what and she's going to get it no matter what. Why is she standing in that pose? It's a completely unnatural pose to begin with. Forget about, you know, she and Shepard are maintaining eye contact. He's not back there with the camera staring up her ass, but it's still a completely unnatural pose. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? I don't care, Shepard. They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. 
Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. In the meantime, I need to rest my ass. Weren't you originally stationed on the horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collector. Ugh. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. I'm walking slowly. He, he got stuck in a mid walking post there for a minute. I was looking to see if I can make it happen again. You have a personal Check. favorite, ask for yours. Need me for something? Haven't had enough conversations yet for that. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibration. Listen, Gary. Listen, uh, uh, Shepard. You're you got your I'll human buddies that uh, like have special meaningful conversations with. So go deal with them. Leave me alone. Still haven't found that food this guy needs to actually, you know, make good food. Uh, I'm really not interested in talking to Chakwas. We've done what we can do with her. We got drunk on purple stuff. Sadly, we don't have access to Sunny D at this time. This is a dark dystopian future with no Sunny Delight. You know, I'm getting into this. I'm having fun. I really should be recording a Romance of the Three Kingdoms 12 as long as I got time to record. Man, that bit. Uh, as much fun as I'm having with this series, RTK12. When I finally start putting that out, first video is probably going to get more views than this entire LP. It's just one of them things, man. It is a little bit more. It's a little bit rare and more unusual to have an English language RTK12 LP than be one of the 800,000 people who's let's played Mass Effect 2, I suppose. Shepard. I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. To myself. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. You weren't Some slavers there. took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on the way to Omega. <laughs> Sounds pretty tough. Old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In the shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence, and with all the crap sloshing around, he thought he'd been shot in the head. Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor now. <laughs> Shepard's not even paying interest. Good story, though. My day. I uh, know somebody who um, flew on a flight with uh, some soldiers, Marines, I think, and one of them threw up in his in his helmet on a C-130, and I'm like, man, <sighs> must have been nasty. Those are hot, unpleasant airplanes to be in. I I got a little nauseous on one once. I made the mistake of trying to read uh, to pass the time. Uh, which I can usually do. I don't normally really get motion sick, but those things are so hard. But anyway, this this kid apparently threw up in his helmet, and it's just like I wasn't there, but I heard about it from somebody, and I trust her as a source. And she's telling me how how nasty it was, and and they were worried about a chain puke reaction. But I I couldn't help stop. I couldn't help but think, for the rest of this kid's career, that is going to be his his nickname is going to be Pukey or, or some some variant on that. I mean, the, the Marines are never going to let him forget that. I should let you go. Still, though, more interesting story. More interesting than anything Kasumi has to say. I mean, I gotta. Kasumi's just supposed to be this kind of. She's like this. I guess you're supposed to like her because she's a Japanese girl, and you know we're nerds. We we are meant to to be into Japanese girls. That's fine. And and she seems like pleasant enough, I suppose. But I mean, she's just like. I like the sound of this ship. I like to look out at the stars. Meanwhile, Zayid's all like. I fucking broke Krogan's face open with the butt of my rifle and puked in the side of his head. I should let you go, Shepard. You don't have time for my old story. I mean, you know, he's like totally badass. There, here's Grunt. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. 
I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the Battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling nice it back, job. right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Maybe I need context. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if yeah, the the war, I didn't know the that females were warlords, but I do know that the Krogans had a thing. You don't mess with their women. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. Sounds pretty neat. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. <laughs> I don't like hearing this. What about Gar? Oh, that's what I want to ask, actually. Man, I don't want to have to go through a bunch of conversations again, but I want to ask about Garrus. He might not even mention Garrus, actually. He might just be... Sometimes the dialogue doesn't match. He's thinking of Garrus when he says something, but... I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles. So I got Paragon points, which I probably wouldn't have gotten. Let's go ahead and save over this and see if I can load. No, oh, I know what I can do. I can just uh, Because I saved the, the dialogue that we want to keep because it gives me the Paragon points, I'll just go back up there and see what happens if I say Renegade stuff to him. Just curious. You know, what about Garrus? What about Garrus? And there's something so thing about you. What about Garrus? Yeah. I mean, it's not like we've seen Grunt and Garrus, like, hanging out, palling around. You sort of assume that your crew members talk to each other. In this game, where they're always at exactly the same place, well, they were pretty much in the last game, too. But it really makes it kind of hard to pretend that, uh, that they actually go around having conversations and stuff. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking. There's a tank. Okay, it's under the brow plate, this, pulling but... it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. You better have a good reason for ruining my lunch. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before. But now I get it. It was mm, a good pretty fight. Pretty cool. I like it. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. You'd be glad. So you'd be happy for me. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind mm. and tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. To see why I should care. Anyway. I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. So long, Grunt. <laughs> so there you go. That was a sweet little conversation about... But I uh, know you don't really ask him, do you hate Garrus? You're more just like, you know, don't start any shit. Which, you know, makes sense. I won't have that nonsense on my ship. I'll jettison you again the way that the dialogue suggested I had the option of doing, and I didn't really. Ribbit.
So we had a little chat with Grunt. Grunt. FCA. Oh wait, no he's not. I'm thinking of Brunt. Blunt. It's with the Ferengi uh, weed smoke on authority. Jack, would you like to save? Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Warrior. Joy riding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. I've Is that Ran so? Ran gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. Tell me about this cult. Was it like CM Punk Strader Society? Did you join the Wyatt family? It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. Did you kill them all horribly? What did you do when you found out? What do you think? What did you do when you found out? What do you think? What did you do when you found out? What do you think? What did you do when you found out? <laughs> what do you think? What did you do when you found okay, out? Okay, I gotta stop. What do you think? <laughs> I love those, though. You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something. And because of that, you everything is You apparently broken. want, uh... Murder, my loyalty assault, mission, because you keep talking to me. Drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Vandalism? I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hannah called blew it up when the you moon. crashed that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. You were a pirate too? This one Tons likes that moon, everything. bitch, and you, you will have to pay. And don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur It of the took moment. every inch Sometimes of my barely covered boobs. What they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. They should have a scorched their own planet response. Not steal our planet's name. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. You ever wonder if you could have done things differently? You ever thought about trying no. to help the Krogan? Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not going to change. They you like the girl with the dragon tattoo or something? No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. Oh, she's so coming around. You. And thanks for asking. Aww. She's starting to warm up to, uh, to Shepard. Shepard's, like, unnaturally jerking his head back and forth as he runs here. And, uh, I don't care about you guys. I got your... Oh, you know what? I need to ask her about ship upgrades. I already asked Grunt, didn't I? Hey. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Cool. Subject Zero Biotic Boost. Yeah, why not? Hey. I forgot all this stuff. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I picked up a lot of resources. She already Can gave us one, so I'm curious what she collectors? says here. I figured out those L5Xs. Consider yourself lucky. It's not like I keep a library of this shit around. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Okay, Jacob seems like doesn't a cute know couple. who he is, but that's not my problem. 
Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. She has big Cerberus logo on her booty. I should go. Yep. Yeah. So. Jack is one of those characters where they're just trying. The the creators of the character are just trying way, way too hard to make the character cool, and the character sort of ceases to be kind of like organic and believable. But. So, I think, I think I talked to everybody else about the upgrades. Upgrades complete. It's just about time to wrap this video up anyway. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'll double check with these two about the upgrades, but I, Jacob and um, Morton. But I think I Shepard, how can I, I help? It already. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need. So there's quite a few uh, crew members in this game who are not going to be crew members in the third game, and there's some of them I really wish you could keep as crew members, and others that I'm just like don't really care. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gernsback, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this well, time. Well, we'll deal with that. anything else? Just eager to get going. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my Okay, I already did it with him. I just forgot. We'll talk later. Commander. Seems weird that there'd be... I can't remember what Miranda suggested, but I feel like we already got... We already talked with her. It's also strange, of course, that uh, Joker doesn't suggest anything, considering that like he's the... The guy who actually flies the Norway. You'd think he would have uh, come up with things that he... <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, it's pretty much time to end the video. I'm going to check with Miranda, see what she got for us. And then... Um, We really have to figure out where we're supposed to buy food. Might have to check a fact. I probably just missed something on the Citadel. But I don't feel like spending a whole video wandering around the Citadel. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about relocating your sister? My I father told you is everything. My sister. I've kept her hidden for years, but his agents have tracked her to Ilium. I need to help her. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dock. There yeah, was we've been through all this. So it goes straight to this, uh, the, the I look at my ass dialogue. Yeah, she's, she's going to repeat everything. Safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of all... Or maybe I... Close. I need to yeah, here we go. It is the exact same one. It's too late. What do you need me to do? My, my contact's name is Lantea. Okay, so if uh, she had upgrades... That I didn't find out about yet. Uh, I need to rescue her sister before the dialogue tree. We'll go back to that. All right, so let's get to the CIC. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna end the video. When we come back, we'll be at the CIC, uh, and we'll be ready to go off on another exciting adventure. On the Mysterious JG. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.